Hey, persons. What's going on, persons? <laughs> How you doing, everybody? What, what day is today? It is a Wednesday, right? It's hump day. How is everybody doing? Hopefully great. If not, hopefully your night will be better. Another late night stream, being busy. So many things IRL happening. But I'm here. I When I scheduled this live stream, I saw that Foodie Beauty was just a live. So that's good. I mean, if uh, she wasn't live, maybe a video. If not a video, then we could always uh, take a look at Queen Cobra. I think I should yeah, incorporate Queen Cobra into the mix, just like I was incorporating Barbie Crystal Station. I'm so compartmentalized with certain channels. Like one channel is all the Brits. Another one, it's like Daniel Larson and King Cobra and uh, Cyrax. And then another one, it's, you know, Foodie Beauty stuff. <laughs> I actually used to also do ALR, but my ALR stuff wasn't really doing that well. So, you know, you got to change uh, with the algorithm they say on YouTube, but you'll be left behind. Kind of like how only Use Me Blade is left behind. But he's he's kind of making a comeback on the whole Lalco Live podcast. Hey, Mons, what's up? In the middle of your evening beauty routine. Cool, Marie, what's going on? Wig, hello. Mindful, Edna, you miss kind of a, a lot of crypto talk. I'm going to be buying a 10 million SHIB and hopefully SHIB hits one cent within the next uh, two to five years. And if it does, I'm probably just going to invest my money in a, in, in, in a very safe plan where it's, uh, you know what? We can talk about that later. <laughs> Simclev, what's going on? Random fish. Yeah, I think I might just do a GIC. GICs are pretty good because then... My money is guaranteed that I, I will never lose money, right? Like, I mean, like a, 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 a low yield, pretty safe portfolio kind of gives the same amount as a pretty good GIC. So, but then again, even if you have a pretty safe portfolio, it's pretty safe. It's not all safe, right? Hey, Maria, what's going on? Carrie Lynn, how you doing? What's up, Bradley Bacon? Hey, 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 hey. What's going on, people? All right. I uh, guess I'll uh, put some Foodie Beauty on the stream that she just did. Or should I just call her Everyday Miriam from now on? I'm so used to Foodie Beauty, Chantilly, Lace, Be Big Beautiful Me. What other names has she had? Uh, Foodie Beauty, Chantilly, Lace, Big Beautiful Me, Everyday Miriam. Uh... Well, didn't she have some sort of like Chantel City or something or Chantopolis? I think so. I can't remember now. There's been many names. All right. So my thoughts on certain things and cuteness overload. She is saying Islam is not an aesthetic. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to take a look at, into this. She even had Mufti Menk. I, I kind of scrolled through this. She had Mufti Menk on there. I'm like, uh, I appreciate Mufti Mink's teachings. Yeah, the Chantal show. Thank you, Simclev. That was also one of the the names she's had in the past. Oh, yes. Thank you. Mukbangs are awesome. It was, I remember, it was like a city name. Chantopolis. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. See what happens when our heads come together. <laughs> Big, beautiful me. Chantilly Lace. Yes. Chantopolis, the Chantal show. Uh, the Beezer show as well. How can I forget? She her her other channel was at one point called the Beezer show when she was banned and she acted as if uh, it wasn't her and she was like doing these little secretary things. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That's so normalized now. Like, there's a few people who keep doing that, acting as if they're not who they are. <laughs> I can list some names, but, you know, I'm not even going to bother with it. Let's just get into this. Did she and Pete's have a channel name together? Uh, she was supposed to do um, a channel with Pete's at one point. But her real goal was always a couple's channel. She wanted to mimic and replace, um, what's her name? Alexandra Rodriguez, right? Uh, but, uh, it didn't really go for her. She wanted her own Yarmin and, uh, it kind of was pissing her off. Well, she kind of did get her own Yarmin right now, right? Because how Yarmin acts with, um, Alexandra is kind of like how, how, uh, Salah kind of acts because Yarmin, how, how can your husband call you bro? <laughs> like, it's so weird. 
<laughs> but hey, that's not my problem. Let's just get into this. The Beezer show is better than her current show. I mean, it was creative, if you want to call it that. All right, let's go. All right, so her stream starting. No audio yet. Uh, you know what? Let me go where she gets audio. So I think I should start right here. Yeah, what was the Pete's? Because they, they were doing like little skits. I like the skits with Pete's. They were kind of cute. Um, Wasn't it like the Chantel and Pete show or something like that she called it? Something along those lines, right? Can anybody recall what she wanted when uh, Pete's was her hang around right after she got rid of uh, her friend that she used to go to movies with and go to the mall and outings? Rena. After the whole arena situation ended, uh, Pete's was uh, the, re the temporary to permanent replacement back in 2018 because she was hanging out with Rena, Rita a lot. Hello, hello, and then it stopped. guys. Hello, hello. You like the horror film? It was really good, the horror Hi, film. first. Where's Darren A? <laughs> When's Trent second? Hi, Tracy. Hello. Mark, third. Mary Kirkland, hello. Kiki. Uh, hello. Hi, Little Nitty. Hi, Cassidy. Lisa P. Hello. Nosferatu. Hello. Nosferatu. Mahaba. Uh, Tracy, Mark, you are fourth. Darren A. First. Darren A. Still says first. Fernanda. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Sunshine. She she did call it Chantel and Pete's for a minute when they moved to the villa because they were supposed to be doing uh, a lot of stuff together. But you know how that works out with a guy who's very um, uh, introverted, has anxiety, and other things, has a sensory and social uh, issues, problems. And then you have a person who's uh, neurotic, um, highly pessimistic, has uh, anxiety as well. I think Pete is, does too, right? Yeah, it's not a good, really good mix when everybody kind of want to like lay, be lazy around and not really do anything. Uh, hi. Pete's, Hearts yeah, Pete's is number well. one backup. Gemini Gem. Hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> Al Saldan Salah. Um, Mary Kirkland. Ladies first. Monica Rose. Strive for change. Hello. Hey, creepy. Hey. Throwback. Throwback two years ago. We were fresh. And fast into the flashing. You see what I did there? Fresh and fast into the flashing. Because this is this is the point in time where she was uh, flashing reaction channels to get her, her channels not only demonetized but deleted. Because her channel two years ago was gone and she was pissed. So we had to like cover the screens. I can't believe that was happening. That was two years ago. We were covering the screens in case... Yes, did you like my alliteration, Random Fish? <laughs> we used to cover the screens just in case uh, Chantel will flash, but Chantel like telegraphs her flashes. I would I wouldn't even cover my screens half the time because I could tell when she was about to uh, let the bosom fly. <laughs> nice to see you guys, Elaine. Um, you're 150 second. <laughs> hello, guys. Hello. Oh boy, I can't believe those were the days only two years ago. Um, okay, where am I? I need my water. Yeah, nice to see you guys. Oh boy. Remember when she tried getting me for that? Like, who said long boobs? Somebody said long boobs, and I said long boobs, and she's like, oh my god, that Monty. That Monty's saying my boobs are long, well... Technically, they are. <laughs> it's not like people are lying, but okay. But you're, she was the one who said long boobs. So I just said long boobs as well. I'm agreeing with her. But yes, those boobs were uh, very elastic. I um, thought I'd do a little stream because like, I have to stay awake until Fajr. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Did Red I do Maria? a video today? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Yerba Mate. 
You're drinking your mate? I swear I made the best baklava in my life. 36 layers of phyllo pastry. Nice and thick and juicy. Whoa. How many layers are you supposed to use? You put passage, like, did you put nuts and honey or what? So what was this stream oh. about? No, you didn't. <laughs> Party is here, blue pot. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Alan was solid. Chris, I have the night off work. I'm getting ready to go fry some chicken. Ooh, like, yep, like Marie. Uh, KFC style kind of fried chicken. Excuse me. I guess she just wants to be behind the screen this point in time. And she's not showing her face as sus. You know what? Sometimes she just doesn't want to wear her hijab, right? So she just, you know, puts this up, I guess. Can we have leftover beef stew, comic book? <laughs> Sunshine says, just like a pair of tennis balls in tube socks. Kind of, you know, when you put uh, potatoes in like a, a bag, a crocus bag. Does anybody even? Okay. Who of us knows what a crocus bag is? Because I don't know, what will we? Are we country if we know what a crocus bag is? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was so good. I love beef stew. What have you put in your crocus bag lately? I love it, like homemade. Hey, Deb. You know what it is? This, there's certain foods you cook. You know, they're comfort foods because the way they smell in your apartment while they're cooking, like you know, like um, stews. What else? Like a homemade spaghetti sauce that's been simmering. And I don't mean church basement spaghetti. You just open a jar and add to the ground mints. I mean, like, you know, the ones you add, like, you you know, everything. Yeah, crocus. Or, like, I don't know. But there's something about. You know what? It's it's very Caribbean. Uh, a crocus is a a plant, right? C-R-O-C-U-S. But also, um, if you Google crocus bag, like C-R-O-C-U-S bag, uh, those were the bags that a lot of people used to carry a lot of stuff in, mostly like uh, vegetables and um, legumes. Uh, fruits as well so a crocus bag is a is like a staple in jamaica so when people say it's a sack of potatoes in a crocus bag <laughs> oh yeah they also used to put uh coffee beans a lot of blue mountain coffee beans in crocus bags beef stew like you know slow cooking all day or a roast or something like that fried chicken tenders yum you have wings in the oven Yeah. <laughs> Baklava, pistachio, nuts, and honey. Good stuff. Can you say, honestly, darling, I'm quite done with it all in a British accent? Honest, I can't do British accent, so if anyone's offended, I'm sorry. But honestly, darling, I'm quite done with it all. <laughs> yeah, Brenda, well, here we are. Teardrop! Hello! Thanksgiving dinner. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the turkey. Yeah. Yes. And uh, who said that? Who said that? That's where saffron comes from. Yeah. Sunshine Country Chickens is also right because typically um, back in the day, well, even now, um, you, is, you tend to not want to leave any waste, right? So when you used to uh, cultivate, you know, grow and harvest your saffron, the crocus plant would be left over, right? And then from the crocus plant, uh, people would make bags from them. Um, items where you can carry things in, such as your potatoes, your yams, your fruits, your coffee beans, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. <laughs> My mom, when I was living at home, and she would make the turkey dinners. Best coffee in the world. She would get up and put the turkey in the oven at like six or seven, right? Like, I don't know, it was super early. And I was always like, I, I would always sleep until like two. So I would be smelling that while sleeping and just like it's the coziest thing ever, you know. So the desert gets cool at night in the winter. Yeah, it does. It does. I remember the last time one of the I think it was the last time we went camping. Remember that, babe? And we slept in um, one of the little tent hey, things. Mommy. Where did we sleep? I think are you doing? Like a... No. Anyway, we slept in one of the little areas. I forget what. Where, where yes, yes, sunshine. But it was freezing because we didn't. I don't think we had a blanket. I think we forgot to bring a blanket. I don't know, but it was so cold. I'm like, okay, we're getting up. I'm like, I barely slept. Obviously, I didn't have my CPAP. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was like, well, we're getting out of here at like five or six. We need to go home to our warm bed. <laughs> Meep. <laughs> Hi, Rosemary's baby mama. Yeah. 
I need to make that a perfume. Hey, derpy derp. Um, so hold on just one sec, guys. I might mute here and there. I wonder why she's so busy that she's muting. Interesting. All right, maybe I'll go for it a little bit. Um, yeah, Blue Pot, allegedly. <laughs> Zip. Hi, Richard James. Hi, Lynn. Hey, nice to see you. Did I say hi? Call McBoos. I want to show you guys some pictures of McBoos, actually. Actually, I put some pictures up this time instead of just the same old, you know, background. Here's me. Is she still live? No. She finished the live 17 minutes before I even knew about it. I like this one. <laughs> this was a nice day, so it reminds me. And I like how I'm wearing my kafia. This is like flood water in the background. Nothing too romantic, but whatever. <laughs> What's with my face? Um, unfortunately, we're not sniping. We're about, a, I don't know, like an hour, hour or so too late. What the heck? I have lines on my face now. <laughs> Melly, hey Melly, hey Ghostface. We were sniping last What's night, up, right? Guys? It's nice to see you. Hi Elaine, who did I miss? Anybody? Hi Kiki. I hate singling out people, not on purpose, obviously. If you're just coming in, happy hump day, people. <sighs> it is a Wednesday. I, I, I have, a, I, I'm not like that. Like, if I don't like you, you're gonna know it. I'm not just gonna ignore you. You guys know that. People think I'm mean because I was like, you know, if I don't like you and I kick you out of my chat, you're gonna know it. It's not gonna be like I ignore you. You know, I'm, I'm really bad at silent treatment because I. I can't hold it in, so I'm working on, you know, delivery being more assertive than aggressive, but I can still use some work. Nothing like posing in front of flood water. <laughs> hey, anything can be made to be, you know, aesthetic, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, um, but so this is the one picture here, me, and now I liked this picture. This is from our walkie. <laughs> I look like his grandma, but oh, no, I don't. Yeah. This is <laughs> this was our walk on the beach together. Salah looking handsome so in fresh. those Ray-Bans. But look at this beach. Isn't it nice for my video? Handsome as man. Handsome as man. Oh my god. He's the handsome as man. Video? I just love it. Um, hey Shannon, what's up? Hi Melissa. An honor not to be kicked out of your chat. Hey Farquhar. He just will say this is from Thailand and you fell in the water. <laughs> I look so happy. Yeah, Monica. Thank you guys. Yeah. It's nice. It's it's amazing how just like getting out for a bit will improve your mood. I need to do it way more. This is without filtering. You're still adorable, babe. Oh, thanks, babe. You know what I remember? I've been seeing these TikToks, okay, because of the part of the world I'm in and my interests now. I see a lot of like, you know, hijabi content. And I saw a, it, there's this like little meme of this little toddler, a chubby little toddler girl. And she's wearing a little jilbab. And she's the way she's waddling around, walking around in this black jilbab. I look exactly like that. <laughs> so like, oh my gosh, it was so cute. What? I don't recognize them. You're comparing yourself to a toddler, really? <laughs> Thanks, your job. Um, <laughs> try for change. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Um. Anyways, so. So wait a second. So a child was in a jilbab. So if you don't know what a jilbab is, it refers to any long and loose fit coat or outer garment worn by some Muslim women. So you'll typically see like the the younger uh, girls in jilbabs, but uh, adults, ladies as well. So it's more very super loose clothing uh, for comfort. But to describe yourself uh, comparing to a toddler in a jilbab, really? Yeah. We have here Bull. Let me show you Bull. This is the cutest. Oh, wait, hold on. Me and you. Look at Aww, this. Oh, so cute. Where is she? Oh, yeah. Who's this wonderful girl? Could she? Oh, Millie. Loyalty Bees are club. Wow. See, I can see it on my laptop. Thank you again, Millie. You spoil me, you know? Thank you. I really appreciate Ready, it. Ready, set, bees. Oh, the book is a beezer. Yay. Hi, Mary. Let's charter a fishing boat. Um, thank you, Melly. I really appreciate that. <laughs> You're the sweetest queen. Is it seal time? Yeah, I'm sealing out. It is a good picture. Another one. <laughs> thank you. I wish so much positive vibes to that cat. That's a beautiful cat. I just hope that she still remains in a great home. Rosemary's baby, yes. Because I worry about my girls as well. I love my girls. I love my cats, my daughters, or my world. 
And yeah, I wouldn't want any harm to come to them. I wouldn't want any harm to come to Julia. Welcome. Hopefully Sam and BBJ are okay. To the show, Beaver Lady. <laughs> Thank you. Ready, set, peace. <laughs> I like the alert. Ready, set, peace. Thanks, Melly. Thanks, Melly. Every time I'm going to say, thanks, Melly. <laughs> Thank you for the generosity. Yes. Hi, Charles Reed. I love seal time. <laughs> the, algor the algorithm picking good ones. Yes. Comic and Rosemary got the gifts. Yes, thank you. And Julia, look at her. Look at her teeth. Why are cats cute? I just want to eh, bite them. Aggression. But cute aggression. Of course I don't bite my cat. Not not hard. No, I'm kidding. Look at her. She surrenders. She surrenders to the cuteness. Isn't it cute? She is cute. Hi, Isla. What are the perks of membership? Just being a beezer is good enough, isn't it? Oh. Hi, Pink Stars. Sometimes how is do loose? Do, uh, members only streams and stuff. Is how is really still loose? Did she uh, address that? Especially if you have a cat around. I'm not sure how the interaction is between Julia and uh, Howie, but hopefully Howie's okay. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? -y? You see how her bell bell's always messy? I don't know. Her hair on her bell bell is so long. No. Nope. And even if I brush it, it goes right away almost back to being messy. No problem, Maria. Have a great one. Be safe. Happy hump day. I'll see you another time. Because we do rub her bell bell a lot, though. We call it her bell bell. Seal time. The perk of a Beezer membership is you just giving her money. That's the perk. No kickbacks, no nothing, no prizes. Really, Ellie? Oh, speaking of which, I'm going to uh, give away um, a pair of earrings uh, very, 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 very soon. Belize and Mimi, thank you for the $2 super sticker. I appreciate it. Hey, Belize and Mimi, were you here earlier when I was talking about crocus bags? Do you have a crocus bag? Hey, I'm Pebbles, what's up? To deliver an extra content, bring back postcard club. I didn't even do anything for postcard club. Did anyone get a single postcard? No. But I didn't really travel, actually. That's why. Oh! Okay, I need to zoom in here on her mouth. What? Look at her teeth here on the bottom. Under the tongue. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to do an intermission. Wow. Be right Look back, at okay, her. guys? Be right back. Okay. You have your cat trained where he lies on his back. We yell out, paws up, and he does. Oh, that is super cute. That is way too cute. Okay, let me go forward. All right, I'm going to keep going forward until we get some audio back. I look like the ghost from Studio Ghibli. Kind of, yeah. No face. No, I had to use the, the washroom egg on legs. But maybe. Maybe. Oh, you don't have got a crocus bag. <laughs> uh, okay, but I did also have to use the washroom. So I just want to touch on something before I get into what I wanted to talk about briefly. Um, so... I just want to say, yes, for Ramadan, I'm trying not to be negative. I'm trying not to. Specifically, if I address something, I don't think the issue is in addressing something or talking about something I feel is important to talk about. It's how I talk about it, you know? So I'm not going to be name calling. I'm not going to be using foul language um, and all this and that. I'm going to try to, okay? I know I, last time I did my live stream, I slipped out a few dumbs and stupids and all that. But... When I was talking, when I when I showed proof of the the app, the the Kibla app, that millions of um, Muslims use. Mm -hmm. By the way, yeah. Kibla. So I just want to hey, say banana. it is an accurate app. Um, how it works is, it, it's it's not it's foolproof because you don't have to program it. You don't program it. Um, anyone who wants to download the app as well, it's called uh, and test it for yourself. You can test it for yourself. It's the I just Kibla direction app, I guess. What you have to do is you have to put in your location. So I let the, the app choose my location automatically. And then it, based on your location, will show you the correct direction to pray. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, another, so that, that's what I wanted to say. You, you don't have to choose because I know more reaching is happening where people are saying, oh, well, she didn't choose the right direction or she has to program it. People are making vile, like, you know, fat shame comments like, oh, you have to, you know, it's it's not in the direction of Burger King stuff like this. Okay, so good catch. Yeah, there are holding hands. See, and she says, "Yeah, no holding hands in public. They don't do that." But look at that; they are holding hands right there. Oh, anyway, whatever. That's irrelevant. So I just wanted to touch on that. You don't actually. Hey, Wajiha, welcome to Lamb. 
um, you don't actually have to program it. So there's no programming involved. I didn't program it wrong, just to clear that up. Okay. So um, what I wanted to touch on basically is you guys know that, um, so since Ramadan started, I was going to, you know, I, I took out the day one of my, my, my uh, thumbnail mm -hmm. because of my Ramadan vlog. Um, imagine someone non-Muslim who doesn't practice Islam is criticizing a Muslim and saying that you're praying to the wrong direction. It's pathetic. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. It's definitely weird. And yeah, you know, hands on exactly the plane. Um, yeah. Ignore those freaks. Talk about what matters, which is cheese covered potatoes. Okay. Do you drink soursop leaves tea? Holy crap. No, I've never actually had soursop leaves tea. I've had soursop before. I've had soursop like uh, by itself. Where you know you eat the fruit. Uh, I've had soursop juice, but never leaves tea. Okay, we'll get to cheese covered potatoes in a minute. Because actually, blue pot, I have that on the menu. Cheese covered. It's called patato gratin. Okay. Hi, cozy. So, Ellie, I'm new to watching you guys, and it sounds like these reaction channels are wild. Like, why does it even matter to them? <sighs> Money. That's why. <laughs> they share a brain. <laughs> Okay, I have to laugh at that one. Okay, um, hold on. Um, okay, so I've been trying to do content for like Ramadan, you know. Well, um, people be. I know my health is not the best. And all right, I'll try. I'll check out Sarasop Leaves Tea. Uh, if you don't know what Sarasop is, uh, Sarasop is uh, Morikata. Uh, it's pretty much like a cousin to a shermoya. So if you know what a shermoya is, um, that's pretty much what a sarsap would look like. A little bit different because once again, it's the same genus, but it's not the same um, fruit, I should say. And I know how I am. So I don't think I'm going to say that I'm going to commit to like daily, you know, super vlogs or anything like that. I'm going to try my best. You know, probably similar to vlogs like I did for the first day and stuff like that when I do do them. Yeah, they um, in between live streams and regular programming and stuff like that. But since yeah, we have Sarasop in Jamaica, uh, Caribbean. I know it's in a lot of places. Uh, they say it's uh, in uh, the Americas as well, of course. But yeah, Sarasop, Sweet Sop, Sweet Sop is what we call Shermoya. You know, I announced I want to do Ramadan content. Um, a lot of reaction channels in a certain community, you know, I have issue with are now, you know, they have to, they don't have much content, so they have to keep the negativity and the hate going. And how are they doing that? They're doing that by comparing um, my content as a Muslim to other Muslim creators. So, um, which I find just to be absolutely inappropriate. And I'm sure if um, the other Muslim sister sisters being used in comparison to make fun of another Muslim, uh, their content being used to make fun of another Muslim would be um, very much. There we go again. So um, that just brings me to my point that like Islam is not an aesthetic. Okay. So um, basically people are comparing my vlogs to the vlogs of other people, other people who you know, have like a more, a lot more like aesthetic to their vlogs or have like a lot more things, have maybe nicer things. I don't think there's anything wrong with the things we have. <laughs> I mean, it's a different style, but um, people have different levels of, hey, just I. you know, things in general, you know? So I don't think that, um, you know, like if you look at the picture on the left, very aesthetic, very nice, whatever. But <clears throat> honestly, there's a lot of Muslims Welcome to line, Rebecca. There's a lot of Muslims who literally will pray on a piece of cardboard in the wet earth, in the dirt. Um, and whether yeah. you're praying in the dirt, whether you're praying on a $500 prayer rug with your name engraved in gold on it, um, honestly, Allah doesn't care. Actually, he will probably praise the, the poor person praying in the dirt first because excessive, like, things and wealth is looked down upon in islam he would probably rather you use your money to donate to poor people but there's nothing wrong with having nice things i'm not saying that and mashallah to the people who 
really have nice homes, really have nice things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, But I'm just saying that like comparing one Muslim to another, like just for content and to, you know, keep perpetuating hate against somebody for how they worship their God is just disgusting, especially when you don't know anything about a religion. You know what I mean? Subhanallah, if only they... Well, maybe some of us know as much as you do, foodies, and some of us know more than you do. And every time she brings up, you know, giving to the poor, it reminds me of that awful situation where she said she gave the 20 bucks to that guy. And then she finally came clean years later saying she never gave him a thing. And I think that is just in poor taste because she could afford it. And I'm sure that homeless guy would have appreciated that 20 bucks. They knew how true Islam is and how terrible it is for them to mock it. SubhanAllah, may Allah open their hearts. Yeah, exactly, Rebecca. Exactly. Um, just don't buy your prayer rug at Sears. I don't even know if they had prayer rugs at Sears. <laughs> yeah, isn't Zellers back in Canada? Imagine some weirdo seven years old. They start to make up theories and draw lines between our home to Mecca. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't go by, okay, the direction of where you're supposed to pray is not dependent on the world map okay it's like my apartment the way my apartment is is placed in that little area of the and by the way they do have uh prayer mats or prayer rugs at sears map like it's anyway but you're right yeah archer lady i know it's it's a moot point because you know it's if it's not one thing it's going to be something else you know what i mean so exactly babe my coworker is Muslim, and when it's time for prayer, she grabs a flat cardboard box and goes to the storage closet with concrete floor. I'm sure Allah does not care. <laughs> Blue pot. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, Ellie. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, Allah does not discriminate. He doesn't care, you know, how how many trinkets you have, you know, or how nice your abaya is. I don't, I don't care about that either, you know. Um, so, yeah. Natalie Orge, they passed a bill in the United States that might be on TikTok. I heard Man, Mons, I kind of like that Zellers is back in Canada. You know what? I had at one point was it it wasn't a 32, I think it was like a 28 or something. It was a cathode cathode ray tube TV, so a CRT tube TV. You know those TVs that used to shoot very slight radiation at the front of the TV screen? Um, I had one of those in from Zellers. Oh man, I love that TV because it was a huge TV. And I was like, oh, I love this TV, such a big screen size, but it wasn't even like a 32. And nowadays, does anybody even have 32 inch TVs? Like, can you even get a 32 inch TV these days? You missed it. You missed her stream? Well, you're here for this stream, pickled hobbits. Cam up Monty, sup, bud. Hey Cypher, how you doing? Soon time. Soon time I come. I will come up real, real soon. Heard that. I'll see it when I believe it. They've been saying that for a while now. And you know what? People will probably just use VPNs. Yeah. But I don't know why. Why are they wanting to ban it? Like, what's the deal? What? Is it, what beef? Actually, is it because... I don't know. I don't know. Is it like... um, Maybe explain, like, what's the deal? I know it has something to do with China, right? Like... Um... Oh. You almost <laughs> missed the pickled. Yeah. It, obviously, you got... Yeah. Obviously, you know Blue Pot. Yeah, but we're not even halfway into her video. We're about one third of the way. So you haven't really missed much. There's 66% more to go. Praying is so intimate in Islam. Kibla Up has saved me while traveling. Yeah, Momoki. Like, it's literally, like, meant for that. Like, and you don't... Zellers was good. Byway was also good. You don't have to program it, right, Momoki? You don't have to put your direction. You just have to... I mean, we, we've missed Target, but at least Zellers back. Maybe Target will make a comeback in Canada. You have to put your location. <laughs> like, you know, it's not the same. Like, like I don't know what people are thinking, but anyway, um, it's too addicting for the kids and bad for them. I think you've made up sixty-six yeah. percent, really. A private Chinese company that states no like you, basically. Hmm. I think I was pretty good. I okay, we were like we were like twenty-six minutes in of one hour and twenty-three minutes. I think, I think that would be like about sixty-six percent left, right? It's on my knee, so I can't bend it. To properly get into sujood a lot even makes allowances so if we can't bend we can just do what we can yeah i'm not gonna lie after doing like for fajr the sujood is not bad i can you know but when i have to do four rockets like <laughs> for tarawi like for the extra prayers the long ones where you have to do like eight rockets i 
no, I'm sitting for that. But if I have to do only like between two to four, like for the regular prayer, it's not as bad. <clears throat> My leg does hurt after, but I just figure, I don't know, whatever. But the room on the left is pretty. Is that hers? Hell no, it's not hers. That is, uh, uh, I don't know where that picture is from. Maybe somebody did a comparison. Maybe they didn't. But she is uh, saying that she doesn't like when people compare her videos to other people's videos. But don't we do that? Don't we automatically think, hey, if Food Beauty has a very lazy like video where there is not much cuts, um, it, it doesn't flow well, then you're going to think there's other YouTubers that put in hard work and time into their videos. They make sure their, their floors are clean, the camera is positioned properly. You can see everything they enunciate, They'll edit, they'll add highlights, they'll do all sorts of things to make their video good because YouTube, by the end of the day, is still competitive. But you're right, yes. Like, Rebecca, like, Allah, has, yeah, if you have limitations and you have to sit, like, I've had to do that many times, too. It depends how I'm feeling. Some days my pain is not there for a while, so I do sujud. Like, I, basically, Allah just wants you to do what you can. It's the intention that matters, you know? Even without using Qibla Compass up, I know where the Qibla is exactly. Exactly, babe. You've been doing this since you're, like, born almost, you know? <laughs> yeah, Natalie, Elon Musk wants to do his own, yeah. You want to move to Kuwait? Visit Iraq. I do want to, Wajija. It's, um, Wajija, sorry. Um, we are very close to the border. I would love to someday. Sure, she says. Yeah. Yeah, when so, is she going to make the journey to Mecca? All that talk has stopped. The Everest talk has stopped. What else did she say? She wanted to do uh, Mecca. She wanted to do Mount Everest, at least base camp, right? Uh, I wonder which side she's going to try uh, Mount Everest on. Uh, so, yeah. Um, hmm, I think she wanted to do at least the first base camp. But can she even walk for an hour straight? I don't think so. Because it's several days of like eight and more, eight or more hours of walking, you gotta you gotta be able to walk those hours, else you're not gonna make it. So yeah, I just wanted to say that like why it's just so weird. Like so basically, like Islam is not about that. Like here's a good quote about that. Um, Allah's messenger said, "Wealth is not having many possessions; rather, true wealth is the richness of the soul." And it's true. Like before I reverted, I used to think. Look at all the stuff I used to buy. Remember Box Mountain? Those boxes were full of crap at one time. Like, for lack of a better term, I had so many things when I was moving out that I had to, like, give away because I just never Throughout. used it. I had, like, a label printer I never used. Like, look at all the things I had that didn't matter. Like, think of that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I never used half of those things. Games I never played. Um, rich is not... Wealth is not possession. It's not... It's not. It's, it's wealth is so many other things. And honestly, one thing I want to acquire health wealth wise is health for sure. Health is wealth. Um, enriching your soul. I don't think Foodie Beauty has ever returned something to Amazon. It's like she buys it. It doesn't matter what it is. She is way too lazy to return anything. And she bought a copious amount of stuff. She thinks of an idea to do. It's going to be short lived. She buys it like that label printer and those lights. Do you know how much people would love for the lights that she literally just threw in a garbage bag and how much they cost? Those were expensive LED lights. Hey, Casper Kitty, what's up? Becoming, trying to become a better person. Um, You're not a returner. You know what? I've uh, I've learned <laughs> that I, I'm going to return. If I don't need it, I've learned that hey, for me to not have things pile up in my home, I'm going to return a lot of stuff. If I'm not using it, I'm returning it. If I don't use it after a while, I donate it. So I've learned the hard way to try and live as simple as possible. Giving to others, you know, like having meaning in your life, you know? So you were convinced the label maker was going to fix your life. Islam is an entire lifestyle and an entire life plan to follow. So there will obviously be a certain aesthetic if followed properly. It's ridiculous to be judged for it. To me, that's Islamophobia. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely, um, if you're mocking a Muslim in general, to me, that's, yeah, for sure. If you're picking on how their abaya looks, if you're, if you're just. My man, Cypher. Monty, I bought a printer to return stuff from Amazon and return the printer. My man. 
A man after my own heart. I love it, Cypher. Sorting their name, if you're um, putting a haram word inside of it, if you're anything like that, whether you you argue it or not, it's still it's still wrong. Yeah. Um. Hey, Nike Pro Projok. Means pretty in Hawaiian. Oh, nice, Ghostface. Yes, this app helps a lot of people who don't know how to realize where is the Qibla exactly by using the sun. Yeah, I need the app. And, you know, I use the also the Muslim Pro app. I use a lot of the... Wow, really, Edna? You return through... It tasted like bleach. They probably was trying to wash it. Some people do that. Like, they'll wash their, their fruits and stuff in bleach. I've seen people do that before. But I'm like, is it really... You really want to wash your fruit in bleach? I mean, it's good to wash your fruits, but in bleach, uh, it's kind of like, no. You know, whatever I have resources available to me. Um, so, yeah. And in Islam, it's very, we, we, you know, believe a lot in, and I'm learning this more and more. It's a process, but like, deen over dunya. So, like, dunya is this life. And this life is full of temptations. And this life is full of, Things that make you compromise your morals or will, will, you know what I mean? Will trick you into compromising your morals. Will take you away from what the true meat, will take you away from Islam, will take you away from uh, Allah, you know? And that's so true. Addictions. I mean, I'm going through it. I've gone through a lot, a lot of it and I'm still going through a lot of it. So no, I'm not perfect. You know, everyone's journey. How can you compare someone's journey to someone else? Like, did we not learn? Exactly. Pickled hobbits. So toxic to use bleach. Well, people use bleach. Some even people are still bleaching their skin. There's a lot of skin bleachers going on. If you don't know what that is, uh, it's been a trend, still is a trend for quite some time where people will lighten their skin by literally bleaching it. That, you know, I guess not. A lot of people don't learn that. Like you can just don't compare. You can't compare your journey to someone else's. The path that Allah has set for you, you can't compare it to anyone else, you know? So... Yeah, um, this Mufti Mank, I love Mufti Mank, I like listening to his teachings. Um, if money is what you love, you'll never get enough. If wealth is what you adore, you'll always be wanting more. Our wants are limited. Right, sci-fi in Jamaica afford, too. No box mountains. <laughs> Live moderately, give generously, and the blessings will be immense. Yeah, exactly. So, that's a You never ordered anything from Amazon, really, Marie? Um, these days... Uh, I got to order from Amazon because then they ship it straight to my house and it's super convenient rather than me running out for stuff all the time. Exactly like what I wanted to point out. Like, you know, um, hey, Jenna. Um, yeah, for sure, Blue Pot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy because if the roles were reversed, you'd have another video on you by Snowflake. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. It'd be another uh, soft white underbelly by Wish video, <laughs> um, but that's true. Think of it like if you if you that's what that's what the like Dean over Junior means. Like in this life, all we chase is material wealth. You know, um, that's what people consider a successful life. A successful life is how many things you have, how aesthetic and perfect your life is, uh, how it appears on social media. Mm -hmm. um, you know, With like FVD. how. How much money you have in your bank people like literally want to leave the world because they're in the overdraft for example or people think they're a failure because you know they don't have enough money you know and it's like it's so weird to me now like i used to be like that i used to think i was such a failure because i had bankruptcies or you know i didn't have i didn't manage my money right you know like you can learn from that and move on and you know truly Learn from your mistakes and also realize exactly, Cypher. I mean, Amazon does work great, like for super heavy items, all that bulky stuff, especially when you don't have transportation, is very true. That who cares? Like, it's just, it's just money. Like, no matter what, we're all gonna look the same in, same in the grave. We're all gonna be skeletons in the grave. And what's after? You know what? Yeah, she'll say this, and then two, three days later, she's raging again. Sometimes even tomorrow, she'll start raging. Next. This world is too complex. It's like. You know, to me, like I put on my, my TikTok, I don't want to get all too religious because I know, you know, it's like, you know, can be annoying for some people. But it's true. It's like, to me, the proof that there's a creator is that there's creation. There's like, like intelligent, well thought out creation. Everything on this planet is to sustain life and it's here for us, you know, and it's like, I don't know. And that's all that matters to me now. That's all that matters to me is 
these things, these new things. And every time that I want to go back to Canada and I associate my life in Canada for some reason, I just can't get over that right now. So that's why I think it's better to stay away for now. It's just that I associate that old life before Islam in Canada. And I just think that it's like, um, I feel like I'm just going to go back to all the material things and that's all that's going to matter. The wheelchairs, the food, um, all the things that were distracting me from what life really is about. And it's th these distractions are everywhere and they're meant to take us off the right path. And like here, I, I associate myself with the right path here. I don't know. It's just like, you know, so that's what I mean by like a tug of war with myself. And, and I do, it gets hard. It's hard because I feel kind of like it's new. It's weird. It's, it makes you face yourself. It makes you think of things that you don't want to think about, you know, like mm -hmm. growth is hard. It's really hard. And I do want to like sometimes just revert back and just go about living mindlessly and just consume and consume and just numb myself. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's really tough. Thanks Robert. Canada wasn't the problem. Everything followed you there. Your addiction to food is worse now. So my it, it seems he inhaled. Is she, is she, she's doing shisha right now. The food is not worse, actually, living Laura. I was my heaviest in Canada. My lifestyle was actually more destructive, you know? And I don't, I'm not saying Canada. You're right, though. You're right in the way that, like, your problems follow you. I still have my food addiction to deal with. But um, true. I wouldn't say it's worse because I did binge a you lot. Like, your problem, like, pizzas every night. <laughs> like, in a whole bunch of junk food and, you know. But um, it's still there, yeah. It's still there. But the way I, I don't know, like Islam has made a lot of changes in the way I see the world and what do I, what do I, what I appreciate in life and has given me a new direction. It has given me meaning before I reverted. I didn't have, I would have that sense of hopelessness and like sense of apathy and sense of like, there's who cares? Like, like there's no meaning, there's no meaning to life, you know? So, um, Yeah. Yeah, she is Laura, I was over 400 pounds in Canada, so I don't know if you saw me skinny back then or what, but you definitely are seeing wrong. You walked more with Salah and in Kuwait. Yeah, I never, I've never, I walked, look how much I walked in Boulevard, even if it was the way I was walking is off. I mean, I'm a big person, yeah, you know, so the way I was walking, my gait might have been off. Um, oh, but in cipher. Canada, I would drive everywhere and I would occasionally do a walk. And be up nice and in minute. So no, exactly me. Thanks, Archer Lady. Eat a lot more healthy. Yeah, in a way, Lynn. Like I still eat junk, a lot of junk too, but um I am older, yeah. I'm I'm older than there for sure. Happy no eating month, y'all. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Hi, Kitty Charms. Satay is good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, in about two or three days, she's going to forget about this. And didn't we call this? Didn't a lot of us was like, you know what? Probably tomorrow, maybe the next day, she's going to come back online. And then instead of the whole anger, well, sometimes she actually doubles down on the anger. She'll, she'll go to the other end of the spectrum. And then, um, school us on on being reserved and how much of a pious muslim she is and this is exactly what she's doing how about she teaches herself not to just go over the board over not over the board overboard and not get angry like there was no need to be angry hours ago yeah i was gonna go i like we weren't feeling great so we didn't go out today but one of these days we'll go out for iftar. <laughs> I want to show you guys like what it's like everyone rushing to get to the food restaurants and stuff. It's very busy around iftar, like pre just pre iftar. But um, we ordered food today. I was like, I'm not cooking. Nope. I also go through phases where I'm like super like want to be Betty Crocker, perfect housewife to just like I'm over it. To let's order today. So mm -hmm. I'll probably do a mixture of both. Like, you know, it's not realistic for me with how I'm feeling to say. You know, I'm going to cook every single day a huge nice meal. Sleeper. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> and I went to Thailand. Yeah, teardrop. Yeah, I do push myself. You know, I made Korean Mayak eggs again tonight. It was really good. Oh boy, it was so good, especially the onions and the jalapeno peppers and whatnot. 
scallions. Gives it a really good taste. I served it over rice this time. You know, I, I... and then you can even add in sriracha if you really want to spice it up, give it a different taste because you'll get the freshness as well as the uh, the spiciness of the sriracha. I will give myself credit for that because I do. I <laughs> creepy. Yeah, that's okay, Laura. Uh, yeah, pretty much. They're soy eggs, so you have your uh, your your sauce, you know. Um, but they're they're amazing. Uh, I got the recipe because I was looking for ideas uh, online, and there's like so much ideas. It's so easy to like prepare meals these days, where you could just easily just go online, look at it visually or not, however way you wanna look at it get it done but uh yeah um there were soy eggs i let them soak in uh soy for a while sometimes i'll even let them soak for a couple hours but yeah i mean a, like half an hour or so is still pretty good i know what you mean i'm just like saying like how i felt like i know how much i weighed there and everything too you know a lot of people don't like people do a lot of like really huge Yes, I do put sesame seeds on it. So sesame seeds on it uh, in the sauce. And then I'll put some sesame seeds on top of the eggs when I split them in half uh, to serve. If tar meals like on social media, they try to make it look perfect. But behind the scenes, you know, it's just uh, like, of course. Can you recommend a credit card with the lowest interest? Oh, boy, that is a loaded question because one, I'm more focused on the Canadian credit cards. Uh, aren't you in uh, America, Marie? But you know what? There, there is such a good choice these days. What I don't like is a lot of the credit building credit cards these days. They try and have you do these reverse loans where you'll take out a loan and then you pay down on the loan to build your credit. But then it's kind of like a double loan because not only did you take out the loan, but then you're paying on the loan without any benefit to you, except they say that it's supposed to build your credit. But... I'm so against that type of behavior because I think it's predatory in terms of um, how they do things. And a lot of these credit building credit cards also will give you these uh, outrageous um, uh, interest rates. Like the APRs are so outrageous. And then there's um, minimums for, you know, payment minimums. There's a lot of things you really got to avoid. But hey, Marie, I'll get back to you in probably by tomorrow and we can figure it out what would be a good card for you that's low interest. It really depends. Do you like to travel? Do you like uh, your card to earn you points towards things? Because I have a few cards myself. Um, one card um, earns me a lot of points in terms of like groceries and other things. Then I can double and triple my points the more uh, tiered I go into. Like, this is a whole nother converse conversation. But if you pay it off, you charge, right? Some cards, even though if you pay it fully off and you're zeroed, some of these credit building cards, what they do is they'll still have a mandatory minimum you have to pay every single month, which I think is, like, predatory. It's, it's wrong. Let's do a morning money stream. I know you would say something like that, Edna. Some people do cook like it have they have really some people have really big families, right? And they cook for a lot of people, but probably just very simple foods most days, I would say. You know. I would say that. Like probably just like uh simple foods. Um it depends. Chicken, rice. Nice observant. Um they usually break their fast with dates. Applebee's fasting during Ramadan is not just about food. It's also to avoid negative behaviors, promoting self-control and purifying one's thoughts and actions. That's true, babe. Yeah. Which is I use I use my cards like like money where I don't use the money, but I use my cards where they're always zeroed again. So what I do is for me to like collect points and a lot of stuff because I like collecting points. It's kind of like you, you're getting like free little gifts every couple of weeks to every couple of months. So I'll use a card and whatever I spend on the card that week or that two weeks, I'll just pay it off because then I'd, um, I'm well into um, my grace period where I, I will not get charged interest. So I really like that. Like there's really good cards out there if your credit is good enough where you can get some really uh, good benefits. 
and then it really does help get in yeah exactly exactly i want miles or cash back that's how i think about it because before i used to use cash a lot now I, I don't use cash at all i just use my credit card and then from my credit card i gain a lot of points and then i just pay it all off it's harder than the food sometimes honestly yeah you know um Anyway, I didn't see what blue pot. <laughs> Thank Once you, Marie. Marina opens again. I say you'd adore the place, sister. Right, welcome. Cypher. The Marina. Are you talking about in Samia? Right, Cypher. In Kuwait. Toby's or inshallah, I escape again. <laughs> no, inshallah, you don't, you little beezer. <laughs> Howie. What are you doing, Howie? No. Um, hold on a sec. Um, oh, my chat wasn't updated. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Kina. Hi, excuse me, miss. No one cooks every single day. I'm sorry. Every meal. Yeah. Yeah. I usually, like, would make, like, two, at least two, like, usually a breakfast. Like, Ooh, pebbles. And then dinner, nice. you know. So, yeah, it's kind of hard because in during Ramadan, you have suhoor. And then, but you can just make simple things. You don't have to make it super fancy all the time. I guess for content, that's where you want to kind of make nicer content. But order chicken and rice. No, it was, like, oh, my gosh, it was good. A fatire. Uh, just like a bunch of different fat tires. Can you snap on anything? Amazing, Cypher. That is amazing. Good for you. And not a lot of people can say they have no debt. Like most of us, almost all of us is in some sort of debt, one way or the other. No, it has to be after iftar, kitty. After sundown. Is vegetarianism common? I don't know, Shelly. Um, no, I'm, I'm not It's. I'm not fasting right now, Living Laura. I cook every day. I don't have money to eat out. Yeah, teardrop in, like, it's a bit exhausting, eh? But that's like you said, sometimes you just open a can of chili. That's fine, too, you know? And, yeah, eating out is a, is a lot. Air purifier. <laughs> yeah, Melly, I'm a grown woman. I'm home. We're going to be 40. Don't cook every day, but I definitely don't order out every day. But I have french fries a couple times a week. <laughs> cool. Nice. Random. All right, so we got Miss In and Out with the audio. Oh, I gotta make the grape leaves. Kate Middleton's conspiracy theories. What? Oh yeah, I need to learn about Julia those. Julia purr all day. No, not all day, but she does purr a lot. Easy stuff. Yeah, easy stuff is where it's at. Does someone pay to insult me? Where? I didn't see it. All right, so let me end this poll. I asked, what kind of peanut butter do you like? Most people at forty-four percent chose smooth. Uh, next best at about a quarter is crunchy, 18% at both, and 12% at neither. I guess 12% of you doesn't, don't like peanut butter. You know what? Um, I have a love-hate relationship with peanut butter. Some days I kind of like peanut butter. Other days I'm like, nah. Who who likes peanut butter and jelly? Peanut butter jelly. Hey, peanut butter jelly. Yeah, exactly. She is sneaky. Uh, yeah, blue pot. I worry about that too. Why do I buy the junk food? Well, just not able to say no at the time, I guess. For goodness and blessing. The month of Ramadan is the month of goodness and blessings as fasting coincide with it. And it is considered the most important pillar of Islam, tolerance and empathy. Yes, very true, babe. Yep. Yep. My son eats from DoorDash almost every day. It's crazy. She should be. Maybe not. <laughs> no, we didn't go out tonight, Laura. We didn't feel like it. <laughs> Why am I periodically muting? muting? Just because I have to. Yeah, I remember the days of like credit card companies coming to you or your college to sign you up. <laughs> and you don't have the, the, a lot of us at that age don't have the right state of mind. Like, man, I was so bad with my credit cards. I remember I had a GM card. They signed me up and I actually got approved. Oh boy, I was so bad with that card because, you know, my brain isn't mature. I'm a young college kid. You gave me a credit card and you keep giving me more and more credit because I'm paying it here and there. It, it's bad, man. A lot of college students get into debt that way. In fact, back in the day, what a lot of people used to do was um, get as much credit cards as possible and then use one credit card to pay the other. So some people's tactic was this is no longer allowed, right? 
they will get as much credit cards as possible. Use one credit card or credit card A to pay off B, B to pay off C, and you know get their degree, and then they would just claim bankruptcy, and it would all be go away. Now, now there's certain debts that you can't clear with bankruptcy, right? <laughs> yeah, like luring college like students is kind of wrong. No way, they postponed the soccer game. So one of the but it was super lucrative for them. Oh, cool, neat. Yeah, so you can what? What happened to Kate? Did Kate get a BBL? Yeah, if you accidentally forget or something happens like a mistake. Yeah, exactly, Rebecca. Ooh. Yes. Wow, a soy version. Cool. Normal size takeout. <laughs> They're always large portions, I know. It's close to where I used to reside. I'm going for walks there in the morning. Oh, yeah, I've been to the um, Marina Beach, yeah. Yep. Hi, every day, Trevonda hospitalized. We used to live around the Samia area, so it was very nice. The Al Coot Beach area is nice. There's a lot of nice beaches here, like just the whole seaside area, you know? But Marina Beach is particularly nice. Oh, really, Kina? Wow. The closest town is 25 minutes away. Oh, wow. No kinetic bees. Bees. I know. I, fast food, ugh, it always makes me feel like crap. I don't. I never learn. It's addictive, you know? Oh, really? Girl, like said her chat wasn't very nice tonight. I guess I'll pay more attention to the chat. We're just having a conversation on our own here. Now we're talking about credit cards and whatnot. Student loans are a scam too. Oh yeah, the whole student loan issue. You know what? That reminds me of the Queen of Canada. Not the actual, not the actual, you know, queen that passed away. Now it's the King of Canada. But there is this lady from the Philippines that has um, a cult. And she's been featured um, in the news because what she does, she goes from town to town. Uh, her name is Ro Romana Didulo, and she calls herself Queen of Canada, but now she's proclaimed herself Queen of the ro World. And then her and her followers will go from town to town. And uh, yes, Cypher, she's she's now she left Winnipeg, didn't she? She's in a smaller. She's in a small village, pretty much. That's right near the BC border. Uh, she because what happened was she got kicked out of a few places because people people were receiving way too much threats and other things. So a lot of people were super leery and weary of her. And yeah, she got kicked out of uh, certain towns. Now she now she is um, south of Calgary. Uh, kind of like north, uh, no, south, southwest of Lethbridge, Alberta. I forgot which like village she's in, but she's in like an old school. Uh, they just did something on her two, two to three days ago. Uh, I think what was it called? W4 or was it W5? Yes, there's a Filipino woman called Romana Didolo. I'll pull, I'll put the name. Romana Didulo. Okay, let me make sure I got it right. Romana Didulo. Yeah, D-I-D-U-L-O. First name, Romana. She actually um, picked up during COVID where there were a lot of anti-vaxxers and a lot of people were listening to her. And yeah, she has a pretty much a cult of a lot of people. I don't know, Trevanda. And the thing about the whole cult thing, uh, the police is very rare. You know, typically police will go in and break stuff up. But um, police these days with cults, they are very stepping on eggshells because they don't want to upset uh, these individuals because they don't want another. What, what one went really bad and there was a shootout? Wasn't it in Texas or something? They don't want a situation like that where where you have armed cultists and then they engage in law enforcement in like a brutal shootout. Nobody wants that. So I've noticed a lot of law enforcement really tiptoe around her.
like she's illegally occupying this um, vacant school and they're not doing anything about it. Yes, yes, Waco. Yes, we do. We don't want another one of those incidents. And that is why the cops are very weary and they'll push back. No, not not push back, but pull back. So it's uh, Romana Didulo is the name of the lady. Did I post it? Yes, I did. Romana Didulo. Hi, Silvayel. Thank you, Silvayel. Oh, kinetic sandcastle, I see. Yeah, you're allowed to, to sleep. You're not supposed to sleep all day. Hi, Orange Pulp. Mercy me. Is my audio okay? Industrial True cooking sunshine. oil, omega six, or what is it? You can miss prayers if you sleep. Yeah, it depends on a lot of things. Sometimes if you have to sleep, um, and you miss a prayer, you can make it up. But if you just miss it, just out of laziness and just ignoring it, that's when it's a sin. You know, otherwise it's uh, it's it can be flexible if needed. Oh, really, Grace? Oh, well, maybe that's a good thing. Are you allowed shisha during Ramadan? You're not really supposed to smoke shisha anytime. <laughs> but I think, you know, if you're going to do it, do it on uh, non-fasting time. Oh, the volume. You can hear me do rat face. Apparently, if you put your takeaway food onto a plate and portion it out, that way you'll be satisfied. Really? I should try that. <laughs> but I'm not never satisfied. That's the problem. That's my problem. That's my, I just want to eat everything till it's gone. She's muting to smoke. I can do that too, Robin. Exactly. She is smoking. Totally. Do whatever you need to do. What is this call's messaging? Put another quote up. Uh, she has all sorts of stuff. I think, I guess I could maybe um, point you to the W5 documentary that just, just came out. I think two or three days ago. Because now she's in like a new town. And, you know, she, a, a lot of people are scared. There's people who are scared. Some people are neutral to it. Other people, you know, just want her gone. A lot of stuff is happening. She was even at the 2022 convoy protest. I actually wanted to go there just to document the protest, not like participate. I'll remain neutral in a lot of things, especially that trucker protest in Ottawa. But uh, there were people who were documenting the protest. And man, they... They... Uh, they did well for themselves. Um, I don't have any more saved on my phone here. <laughs> what else can we put? Let's put Bull back. Right still. Bull! There she's. Who's that wonderful girl? Uh -huh. Could she be any cuter? No way. Hi, Bindi Boo. That's an Islam being lazy. Yeah, for sure. It's not good. But if you think about it, it's not good for anybody. Kina Bear for Howie Nom Noms. Thank you, Kina Bear. I'll definitely get Howie some corn with that. <laughs> Thank you. He's All right. Of corn. Here's the W5 about yes. Romana. Or Suna. Thank you, Kina. I appreciate that. Thanks, Mimi. <laughs> I would support Chris and those in power. I'm sorry. Nobody's safe. <laughs> Me craving chicken Alfredo. Yum. She loves Howie the Hamster. I do. We both do. Cat deflection. A deflection of what? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I do love me a rebellion. I miss the lock my counting beezes when you had all those funny people in your chat. <laughs> Harry Reams. Oh, I forgot about Harry Reams. <laughs> the lock my guy. Okay. Oh, there it is. The Jensen Burger. Lock my guy. Shelly, I'm from a town called Cornwall. In Ontario. It's a city in called Ontario, Cornwall. In Niagara Falls, Ontario. Marineland is the place to go. And uh, Cornwall is nowhere close to Marineland, okay? Marineland is literally... Uh, let me let me be sure. Uh, she's from Cornwall, so that's an hour from Montreal. So that's about four hours if you have good traffic conditions, plus another hour and a half, basically. So five and a half hours away is where Cornwall is from 
from Niagara Falls. And don't go to Marine Land. We had this conversation about that uh, that orca. Was it Tilly Tilly Tillycum? Was that Marine Land? Remember that uh, that whale that uh, on a live somebody because uh, he was in a very tight um, aquarium, which isn't what a, a whale should be. And I remember watching that documentary. It was very, very sad. No wonder that Orca was very angry. You would be angry if you were, like, stuck in, like... <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody would say something like that. <laughs> Tilly come. I don't know who named him that, but it's T-I-L-I come till I come. <laughs> Okay, it does kind of like uh, so. Okay, listen, Cypher, stop making me laugh. All right. Oh, laying down like a seal. <laughs> what the heck? Wait. Where is that cult lady? She is uh, south of Calgary, Alberta, in a small village in an abandoned uh, school. I forgot what the name of the village is. I think the village has like 200 or 250 people. So it's super small, but she was invited by a cult member saying that there's an abandoned school where they can stay at. And they've been staying at that abandoned school. Uh, okay, there we go. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to figure something out. What did that, um, babe? Oh. I love having uh, Arabic. Yeah, I remember that. The Tom did chase her. Good for them, MNF. Because it seems that a lot of people to, are saying. I don't have to read the, if it's like something insulting, I don't have to know. <laughs> they feel threatened by her. So I guess that's all I had to say. Uh... We need to have a monthly moderator award. <laughs> we could have a paneer stream with root beer and <laughs> what? Oh, paneer and root beer. Have you tried sambusa? Yes, Grace. Hope not all. Many times, yeah. We had I had some the other day for the in my video for sambusa for uh, iftar. It was so good. Uh, my favorite are the vegetable ones or the cheese ones. Sing us a song. What do you want me to sing? Hide your pets. Oh, Lordy, it's Pondu Jordy. What? Where? I don't see that anywhere. That was a stupid super chat in Arabic and I'm not translating. <laughs> yeah, I think Salah took care of it. <sighs> Crazy frog. <laughs> Moderator of the month. Now, I don't want to single people out. Potato, yum. Yo, Crazy Frog, man, whoever did Crazy Frog made so much money. Well, whoever did that, what was that fish game called again where you would jump in, you would go under or above or between? Uh, what was that fish game called? I, I, uh, I can't remember, but somebody's going to tell me. Julia's super precious. Person was making so much money doing that. Yes, the yes, the Q anonymous stuff uh Didulo was heavy into and she kind of gained traction during the, the Julie, pandemic. I don't remember any of those. Oh, oh well, yes, it was the bird game. Thank you, thank you, Cypher. It was the bird game. Why am I saying it it was a fish game? Yeah, you're right, it was the bird game. Wasn't it called like angry? Was it? Let me let me look it up. I'm gonna look it up right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I found you. I, I don't Flappy remember. Bird, yes, Flappy Bird. <laughs> You're right. The game was Flappy Bird, and then there's also Angry Birds. But the specific game that I remember that that guy was making hand over fist. But then he he got like spooked and people made better versions of his Flappy Bird game. When the clocks change and Bulia doesn't realize it's not half past two. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> no, this would be her face. Wait. Born. <laughs> what are you doing? What is half past two? What are you doing? What are you doing? I always see this where her mouth is open. I like to kiss right on her chin. <laughs> her breath is fishy smell. I always ignore them as haters. I'm doing worse things to others. <laughs> No, Sheila. Yeah, we're all going to be saggy one day. Except for, well, some women don't ever. I think mostly if you've if you've ever been really heavy, you lose weight, you gain weight, you lose weight. That's when you start sagging. True, Angry Birds was a huge game. Still is right now. But whatever. It's just body, which is also just material. Deb says New Zealand had a lot of calls back in the 80s, 90s. Centerpoint, Coopers, and a few others all over New Zealand. Yeah, well, um, Romana has her own right now. I'm telling you, a lot of people will, you know, put it on the line for her. What matters is on the inside. <laughs> I should put that up as a quote. The mom beauty. Oh, Melly, where? Wait a minute. I must look at this. I have not seen you buy cheesies in a while. How long has it been since you gave Abby some? Maybe that's why he packed his bags and ran away. That's so cute. You know what? You're right. I need to give him a cheesy. Or maybe a Frito. <laughs> I haven't given him a cheesy in since the last video. Swishy face, Julia. Does she have barracuda breath? Yeah. Hey, Leslie. The audio's going in and out. Why? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I guess that's a plus, yeah. Yeah, honestly, it does. It's and in removal of TikTok, is it really going to happen? TikTok's making a lot of money for, you know, um, a lot of creators, many creators. Uh, here in Canada, uh, TikTok, there's no TikTok-like creator program for Canada. It's like U.S., I think, U.K., I think Italy, and somewhere else, I think France. I got to I gotta remember. It does. But yeah, my thoughts are, uh, do I really think uh, TikTok is going to be fully removed? I don't think so. I think people are going to do whatever to keep TikTok because it is, um, it is, uh, let me look it up. What's the news with TikTok today? It's very addictive. Crap, I'm even on TikTok right now. Not that, only because, you know, I make uh, commentary videos on uh, UK TikTokers. So what's happening? U.S. House passes bill that could ban TikTok nationwide. Okay. But even if it's banned, though, people will always do workarounds, right? So TikTok crackdown passes U.S. House. What to know about today's vote? Oh, interesting. Oh, hold on. Is going to force a sale or it will be banned? Will Canada follow suit? Typically, when America does something in terms of, you know, stuff to do with uh, certain apps or policies, Canada does follow suit. Oh, um, well. Yeah. Kind of like how when a, a social media personality gets banned on, like, one app, the, all the other apps fall in line and do the same thing. Assalamu alaikum. What's for school for? I don't even know. What do you think, Bay? Are you hungry? I think I just want a friggin' liquid diet for so I just want water. <laughs> but no, I'll probably I should eat. I don't want to cook. I don't want to make anything. The Cheeto bag. Yeah, he he was he scared me. <laughs> Chicken Habib tea. Why come so long, Sophia? I just had so whore with my third wife. What? How dare you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Good, she can cook for a change. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. So no one can host TikTok servers, so they cannot use AWS, which is Amazon, right? Somebody told me that Amazon doesn't make money off like selling the products off Amazon.com.ca, you know uh a co uk you know 
they say that it's their AWS, their server content is the real bread and butter of um of Amazon, the AWS. But doesn't um China have its own um servers? Like, I mean, do I really honestly think TikTok is gonna go away? I don't listen, China is like the world's um second largest economy, right? I think they're gonna do their own thing. I really do because I have my own thoughts about TikTok. <laughs> We're having chicken nuggets and homemade potato. Oh yum, I love chicken nuggets. I seriously do, and potato wedges. I, whenever I first, whenever I lived, hey Kim Richards. Whenever I lived in uh, one of my first apartments, um, actually I was living with Shannon's mom, <laughs> and uh, I always bought these potato wedges, frozen ones, and I would make a package of Knorr or no, not Knorr, McCormick's demi glace gravy, demi glass. I don't know if you ever had that. Oh my gosh! <gasps> See, always food, and these sausages called big cheese. And they had, they were these huge sausages and they had cheese in the middle. And every time you bit into it, it would squirt hot cheese on your lip and you'd get a five, fifth degree burn. Oh. What's she talking about again? For quit muting. <laughs> Hold on. She's so redundant. <laughs> Mama Shug says, oh, lies are work for Amazon. They make money off everything, pairing company. Yeah, I would say they make money off, you know, selling products and whatnot. But I don't know, Cypher is kind of agree with me that their big money maker is AWS because somebody said that. I'm like, I looked into it and I was like, okay, yeah, it's the whole data servers and everything is really um, bread and butter. But yeah, I think I think we're both right. How about that? They make money off everything, but their uh, AWS services is a money maker as well. There we go. Yeah, tell Omoyel I don't speak very Ashwe Arabi, <laughs> babe. <laughs> Fart mute. Um, well, not to be gross, but honestly, I took an omeprazole because the, the pharmacist said to take that if I'm going to be taking like anti-inflammatories. Which I've cut down on, by the way. Um, that's the only pain medication you get here, really. Okay. <laughs> Take Tylenol and anti-inflammatory. Um, and I don't think I'm going to take that anymore. I don't know if it's that. But they give you sulfur gas, like burping. And like, it's just, oh, it's horrendous. Horrendous. It's disgusting. I don't know if it's from that. That's the only thing that's changed. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Kiki. You ordered your first big Turk? No way. I need to know how you like it. Hey, lady, pause off Chantal's man. No private shots. No, I asked him to talk to her in Arabic because I feel bad. I don't. I can't talk Arabic, so I told. I asked him to. I mm -hmm. messaged him and asked him to. Hi, green grapes. I've never seen a taut older person. <laughs> yeah, not super taut. There's no way. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm going to just keep uh, using collagen and see if that works. But no, I mean, I've been too overweight for it to be perfect. And, you know, he's just saying to her that Marion doesn't speak Arabic. Nothing bad. <laughs> yeah, Derpy speaks Arabic. <laughs> I take six ibuprofen a day. Doesn't do anything to help. Right, Teardrop is really not that effective. For, for severe pain? No. For mild pain, sure. I find it helps um, when you have a headache or if you have, uh, you know, period cramps, mild ones. Hi, Anastasia. I shall let you know. Yes. <laughs> the Abdullah Al Salam area. Um, what is that, babe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking so long. Hey, no name. Hi. How are you today? Welcome to the party. <laughs> I'm a recovering alcoholic that wants to revert to Islam with my wife, but seeing my wife in an abaya reminds me of a Guinness bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the whole collagen thing. Uh, wasn't she trying to do re like uh, regrow her hair? But the whole thing with the whole collagen is 
if your um if your bed is for you here is dead, then how can you regrow it, right? Because she not only did she have a hormone issue for her here, but she also had the um what's it called? Like um genetic balding as well. So it was like a double whammy. So isn't her, her hair roots dead? Like the collagen is not gonna help. No, hold on. <laughs> she doesn't have to wear that. To wear an abaya if she doesn't want to. You can dress modestly without wearing an abaya. No, sausages with pork, exactly. A lot of people don't seem to realize you can make meats with other types of meat, you know? like uh, Yeah, yeah. So pretty much she has the alopecia, female powder and baldness combination of hormones, aging, and genetics. So in reality, it's a triple whammy for her. Her hormones... Because she never took care of herself when she had the uh, the forced, um, what was it called when you stopped getting your period again? She had the forced, I don't know what is it with me tonight. Um, but I'm at a loss for words. But pretty much it was forced. So that was the whole, uh, she was supposed to be on hormones, right? But she was neglecting them, yes. Yes, she had forced menopause. So she neglected um, taking the proper care of her body by introducing um, the right balance of hormones, right? And then on top of that, she has the genetics for baldness and the, the age doesn't help, right? So it's really not even a double whammy, but a triple whammy. Yes, because she had the, her hysterectomy like a, a full right not a partial a full because she had her um her reproductive system removed uh v for veal or <laughs> there's a stronger dose of separate from ibuprofen yeah there's an uh, NSAIDs um I find for NSAIDs the one like that works the most for my my sciatica pain is diclonifac but that is really bad for you <laughs> it's not good for you to take long term but it's like an analgesic, so. She has a scullet. Oh, really? <laughs> I should see if I can get some. Hi, Eliana. You know what? You have a way with words. Fancy area for Marie. a party. I think. Um... You have a you have like a way with words, Marie. That makes me laugh. She has a scullet. <laughs> you remember? I remember. I think it was this movie I watched where it's like somebody was like, hey, why do you have a mullet? And the guy's like, because his business at the front and party at the back, baby. And it made me laugh. That was like decades ago. And it's going to make me laugh today. Like the way how you skull it like Cobes. Skull it like Cobes. We, we got to rhyme that. What can we rhyme with Cobes? Nobody knows. Skull it like Cobes. <laughs> it's a fancy area. Ah. Yeah, doc a lot of doctors, even in Canada, they don't prescribe. They try anything else um, before they prescribe narcotics. If you're in the hospital, if you get surgery, if you go in for pain, they'll probably give you a shot there, but they won't prescribe it. Maybe a few tablets. Like whenever I had my surgery and I went home, they gave me dilaudid, but not very many, like maybe five tablets. <clears throat> and it is addictive. They're very addictive. Five Tylenol, my pain is, oh, wow. Yeah. Can you picture me with a skullet? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to lie. My my uncle had a skullet. He had like a, a dread skullet. He had like Rasta skullet. Like he. <laughs> oh, oh, why am I even saying this? But yeah, he had like a, he had like a Rasta skullet. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uncle, them dreads ain't looking right anymore. Yeah, I don't find I find Tylenol even more useless. It doesn't do anything for me. I don't think it's legal in her state in your state right here, Josh. Meat with other types of meat. Hell no, Cipher. <laughs> Goat sausage. Oh no, name. That's okay. <laughs> Blue pot. You don't know, like, you know, you're you're fairly new here, so you probably don't know, like, the dynamic. I can just let you know. Um, <laughs> Bally coming in, <laughs> reaming out too crazy. <laughs> yeah, babe. Diclonifac is just, it's an NSAID, so most NSAIDs are bad for your, like, they're bad for your stomach. 
They can cause ulcers, bleeding. Um, they can cause kidney damage if you take them long term. Anyway, and liver problems. That's what we're told anyways. But. A scarlet when you had orange hair would have been lit. It would have been lit. You know. Definitely going to have a scarlet. That I'm way out. <laughs> Please, Breezy, take a scooter ride. Make another Chia recipe. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Cynthia, hello. Yeah, mix Tylenol and ibuprofen. That's what they basically tell you. Chantal, we want to see you, not the cat. I know, Richard. But uh, yeah, I'll be back on camera soon, tomorrow. How much did I donate for her wrench? <laughs> um, no, it's not about that. Okay, 50 members, we thought. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't help but talk to her like that. No wonder she hates me. No, I'm just joking. Tylenol's hard on the liver too, really? What a surprise. Breezy's available to do a live. No life whatsoever. <laughs> her doctor shouldn't be giving her insides in her condition. Yeah, a lot of people would say so, but I think there's a push and pull. Or maybe she's just making it up. Who knows? Yeah, if Foodie Beauty is saying something, uh, typically she's lying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, we can see your rolls. Like, such a 16-year-old mean girl from high school attitude. By the way, your fat phobia is showing. Yeah, it's okay, no name. A thousand and four, though. I'm also immune to the hammer. I'm blocking on Chantal. Can't really get... <laughs> Deal. Hey, Desert Rose! The average undesirable. You're so sick. Oh, no. What's wrong? Yeah. Okay. That she is fine. How about you? Um, um well, um Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Shukran Habibti. Trolls shouldn't get get a wrench they will use for evil powers. This is true. How many people were in our chat or viewing this live? Probably like three to four hundred as usual. Can you imagine? Remember when it used to be above a thousand, well above a thousand, then it was at a thousand, then she was okay with it. Then we were starting to be under a thousand, she was okay with it. Then it was at 500. She was like, yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, five or 50 or 500 people watching her. She didn't really care. Now we can't even get past 500. We're under. I'm addicted to your daily lives. I stay waiting for your notifications. What people have like? moved on. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. Um, we ordered out some fatire, like different kinds. So fatire is like some um, breads that they make with uh, things inside, like falafel, labna, um, cheeses, usually akawi or kashkaval or kraft or something like that. Um, what else? Definitely oh, high wow. blood pressure. No name. Thank you. Shukran Habibti, no name. <laughs> Thank you so much, no name. You're so sweet. No name the queen. Okay, who got memberships? Buckle Bunny, Green Grapes. Hey, Jenna. I said hi to Jenna already. Kiki, Thrillo, Aaron O'Meara, Mimi's Memories, Trixie, Claire, and Laura. Thank you, no name. <laughs> That's nice of you. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. Hey, Oshakala. Thank you, Bali. Yeah, I agree. She it definitely sounds like she's laying down. You know how people can tell when you're on the phone, when you're laying down, it's like a different type of sound. She definitely sounds like she's in bed, kind of slightly, um, slightly elevated. Maybe she's got some pillows or something. I don't know, but she is. She's angled for sure, and she's smoking the shisha. Could make her own content and not use her platform to spread hate about other people. Inshallah. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Whoops. Oh no. How come the alert? Hi. Oh, she said hi. I wonder who was that? Hey, you guys. I apparently had my alert box hidden. I'm so sorry. So oh. I don't know if the alerts didn't come up for the new members. Oh, you didn't get a ready set bees. Okay, oh you ready set bees is the next time I go on camera. 
Imagine she's laying like Jabba the Hutt. Isn't that how she typically lays? I, wasn't Jabba also smoking something? And then he had like... What did he have that he was pressing against his body? It was some sort of like bird or something. Yeah, didn't Jabba the Hutt smoke something? And wait a second. Yes, Jabba did smoke. Because I'm like, I could have sworn Jabba the Hutt smokes. Yeah, it's literally like Jabba the Hutt. No, Hachi, he just came in to fix the alert box for me. <laughs> Did you get robbed? He got robbed. Hi, Monique. Yeah, I, I had to Google to make sure because I'm like, is my memory tripping me? But I could have sworn for um, Star Wars. But yeah, Jabba the Hutt um, smoked in um, many scenes. He'd be smoking. Or what she deleted that part. No name the Gifting Queen. Yes, thank you. Hey, Malika. I hope that you've been avoiding Shisha. Yeah, mostly. Mostly. I haven't actually had Shisha, no. Exactly observant. A few hits from vape, maybe, but yeah. I'm doing okay, Malika. How was your Ramadan? Inshallah, it's going well for you. Ugh. I don't want to get older. All these, I don't know, <laughs> all these problems for me. Some people are 70 and in better health than me anyways. I don't know if it's about they age. They are but... in better health. And she can always start right now. It's never too late to increase your longevity when it comes to life. But she's not going to start. Speaking of which, when I did my stream last night, I came... Um, I came... Uh, I came right after my workout and did the live stream last night. So yeah, you got to work out, man. No matter what, it could be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15, an hour or two hours. Just, you know, do your best each and every day. Put in 100%. Some days you couldn't, you can't put in 100%, but oh. try. You came too? Anyways. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what, Cypher? You got me. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm triple tasking because I'm talking. Plus, I'm listening to her. And then my friend's messaging me. And I can't believe that my my mind started on I came and that that sounds saucy. <laughs> the kindest geezer. Your lats are yeah, sore. You guys are all awesome. Sup, like, Andra? I really appreciate that. No name. The she shows the annoying one. I should take you guys to the gym. I'll consider it. And with you on lift to failure, <laughs> I'm gonna. You want me to be like Sam Sulik in the gym? <laughs> but like, I be like the chocolate Sam Sulik. <laughs> you, you trying to have me uh, do some Sam Sulik moments? Or should I say, what's the other guy that uh, Johnny Bravo keeps making uh, videos about? John Bravo. If Okay, if you know about uh, Lift Tube, John Bravo keeps making... Um, videos about Greg Doucette and Greg Doucette's a Canadian. I got to give it to my Canadian um, uh, lift tubers. Okay. <laughs> Deadlifts. No, I mute usually for, because of the Omeprazole, being honest. I'm not so amazing. I've been waiting for this month since the last month and I'm so happy. I hope I can take advantage of it to the fullest. Yes. Inshallah, Malika. When I hit 40, my health went down real quick. Oh, Yay. I have that to look forward to, I'm sure. Stop muting. The jig is up. <laughs> you think Greg is pretty <laughs> chill? You like him? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's something new, Mario. <laughs> oh my god. He came in with the same joke. Dude, you already used that joke where you play the music and then you start laughing and you go, oh, 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 oh. You think Greg's funny? I have no problem with Greg Doucette. Like I said, he's he's Canadian, so big up to my Canadian um, lift tubers out there. 
that are doing their thing. He has a great channel. But the way how uh, Johnny Bravo is, keeps making the videos, man, it's making uh, Greg seem a certain type of way. But Greg started firing back, is all I'm saying. So we'll see where that goes. I remember Johnny Bravo from his days with, uh, what was that comedic guy from California? What was his name again? Uh, I used to watch him when that guy, that guy was uh, also... Um, a lifter because he, he came out of uh, I think he was in the Navy right and he used to talk about the Master Chiefs and you know Master Chiefs he just called them Chiefs and he had all these like jokes about you know hey Chief yes Chief and they would just order people around what was that guy's name again he does the um, the whole something white boy thing where he has the jersey on and he, he, he dresses an axe black who's that guy what's that guy's name again Somebody's going to tell me. Not Greg. You meant Salah. Okay. Salario. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you doing? Hey, babe. Hi, baby. <laughs> Greg has a unique face. Oh, here. Cypher. Do, do, do. My alert box is on, sweetie. Okay, I'm going to look it up. I guess so. I'm going to look it up right now. What's going on? Bali, he used to do the Harvard Bali. stuff as well. Like, like Harvard kid this, okay. Harvard kid Thank that. Thank you for the super chat. Cassidy Campbell. Yeah, so Cassidy Campbell, I believe, if he's talking about Master Chiefs, I believe that is um, uh, naval rank, right? Master Chief. It is. Master Chief Petty Officer. So it's MCPO, and it's uh, a ninth enlisted rank with pay grade E9. Because, yeah, that's almost the highest, right? Like, is it E10 or E9 the highest? I I can't know everything, people, before before a before a CEO, a commissioned officer. Is that correct? So, Master Chief Petty Officer, is that the highest rank before you, you um, of a non-commissioned officer? What am I saying? Of a non-commissioned um, person? Flopper, hello, Salah. I'm going to leave it. Valley is in the there. Oh. The phase where you're sleepy, silly. Yeah, you like the delirious one, hot tea. I know what you mean. <laughs> SFE, hello. Salario. <laughs> <Mario. laughs> hey, Teardrop, <laughs> Millie, Brillo, Brenda, Kiki. No name. Creepy. Hello, guys. <laughs> How are we doing? <laughs> How are we doing? <laughs> How are you doing? It is. Yeah. It is the highest. Unless you count special. Yoga? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought it was right. I was like, I think E9 is the highest. It is the highest technically. Uh, the highest is special rank for um, uh, NCOs, right? And then, um, then you have your COs, your commissioned officers, and whatnot, and those rankings. Saluigi. <laughs> <laughs> Me for the blue window. <laughs> the blue window, yes. Salah <laughs> is definitely worming his way back in. I guess he's feeling a little more comfortable. Um, it's been a couple months. Yeah, it was the turn. The turn of 2024 is when this all blew up, right? Literally, <laughs> the shit hit the fan back in like late December. Oh, your buddy's an E6. Nice. Uh, hello. Yeah, I changed up. I'm so sorry about that. You can only use some weight, right? but you were beautiful. You have fun and sweet personality. Thanks, Cynthia. I appreciate that. That's nice of you. Hi, Carolyn. I love to you the, the solo face. <laughs> Blue window. It's so loud. Turn it down. What, the Mario? <laughs> Cozy. <laughs> yeah, Brenda, I don't think that will ever stop. She totally is working sorry, in Oregon. <laughs> Turn your volume down, yeah. Are you twitching tonight? For some reason, Belly's streams have been hitting. If you look at Belly's streams, I'm like, wow, a lot of people are uh, tuning in. Because somebody told me what YouTube's been trying to do is what they do with TikTok, where um, they'll introduce your stream to people who are watching shorts, so the stream will start right after and just push people in. Like 4.1K views streamed three hours ago. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, Bali jumped in terms of, like, subs and in terms of views. A lot of views, a lot of uh, subs. And this has been going on for a while now. 
Maybe uh, uh, we'll put using the speaker. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Exactly, the extra bass speaker. <sighs> Everyday no. Merriman annual Salah. <laughs> <laughs> you only show up every once in a while. Are you glitching? No. I, I think no, right? Yeah, no, because it's like 3.11 here, so... Um, if we're going to have something for Silver, we have to do it soon, so I should get off soon. And then Fadger, and then probably rest for a little bit. Miss you, Brother Salah. Thanks, Cozy. <laughs> hey, Beaker, what's up? What is Julia doing out there, Beezer? Uh, she's sleeping. Aww. Thank you, Cozy. <clears throat> yeah, I remember that, and people have to explain to her that, yeah, um, YouTube is promoting her. Well, heck, if she's mad, YouTube can promote me. I'd like a couple thousand views for my videos. <clears throat> Levy, hi, Levy. <laughs> you. So I just got in from his four other apartments. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. She banned you. Why, Cypher? Why did Bally ban you? Richard, I'm married. <laughs> my bigger friend would say to people, I can lose weight, but you can't change your face once the later. That's true, though. But I think at one point we all just, you know, looks fade. So, uh, Salah, you should do audio books. Oh, yeah. Read audio books. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Let me, th uh, let, let me think about it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe. Time travel bees. Thank you, Teardrop. <coughs> if you play the ghost game and lose, I'm coming back to haunt you. I always... Actually, I guess the ghost right this time. Salah's song, Ramadan is climbing the girl world, Hot 100. Woohoo! So far soon, yeah, Malika. I don't know. Something very simple. I'm tired. We're both tired. Really? What? So Bali got 4K views because your mom and pretty genius pretending they're with streamers, giving her the views. Melly. <laughs> thanks, no name. Oh, I see it's my sure. Yeah, thanks for being here. And thanks for the Well, if you're saying drunk in the tub, you can only be talking about two people, and that would be Queen Cobra or Bali. And since we're on the topic of Bali, I believe you're talking about Bali. The 10 gifted members really means a lot. Thank you. Mons, we were on the subject about TikTok maybe probably being banned in the U.S. And uh, I don't know. Maybe they will because uh, Cypher has uh, pretty good points about how um, uh, they'll have a hard time finding server hosts, especially how the atmosphere is with that type of stuff worldwide. With Azure and AWS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Malika, maybe. It's a good idea. When did Bali send Pretty Genius to 20? You have to watch a human demon cook bratwurst and be abusive towards her parents and pets. What? Who? <laughs> hey, Beezer Chantal. Hi, Spicy Mayo. Glad you like it. Welcome. Momoki. Inshallah, you two have a happy and healthy Ramadan. Thank you so much, Momoki. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat and you as well. Thanks for the message. I We wish you the same, Momoki. Thank you, Donna. Yeah, thanks, Donna. <laughs> yeah, Bupot. Maybe she has a life, I guess. You know, <laughs> we all have no life. I'm just joking. We all have lives, but you know what I mean. Why that comes along, Sarah Jean? Lovey, uh, couple channel, please. Oh, a couple channel. Maybe, maybe. Maybe when we get uh, more healthy. Yeah, yeah. Malika, is your pet rodent a mouse or a rat or a hamster? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes to all. That day uh, he was trying to escape. All I can say, Mons, is that money talks. Is That's all I will say. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, there's the alert. It was also covering Nella and Nell's Wyoming thing. Yeah, Nell's supposed to be in Wyoming um, very soon. I would say in uh, the most another week because Cobra's birthday isn't, is what, like two weeks from now? Not even, less than two weeks, right? So let me look it up. King Cobra's birthday. I know it's like the 20 something of, uh, of March, right? So let me look it up exactly when, uh, uh, Josh's birthday is March 26th because I was like is it the 25th no it's the 26th of March so 
pretty much uh, two weeks from now. So she's probably going to be there a little bit early, maybe a few days early, maybe a week early. Who knows? Oh. What's the origin of these? Oh, my gosh. It's a long story. I, have a, I had a friend named Sam, and he was mischievous and naughty. Not Sam. Sham. Sham. Yeah. Chubby use. And okay. I, used, I used to say, um, I don't know, you're beezing. <laughs> like you're be you're being a bad boy and then it just morphed into your beezing. And then and now whenever we bees, like we act up and we get together, we all bees. I don't know, it's weird, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, my little No, Vi- Viking funeral. Hello, spicy mayo. <laughs> you're beezing. Okay, do you want to go to bed? Uh yeah. Soon. Support time, maybe. Weren't we calling the what was we calling the stinky booty again? We had a, a term for it back like two years ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Sahor. But what do you want to have? I don't know. I'll go look for something quick. And then Fajr, and then bed right away, just for a few hours. <laughs> Some rest. Usually, and then I wake up pretty, pretty energized after that. To start my day. There's enough time between Fajr and Durk to get like a good small rest in there. And then you can just uh, carry on with your day and, you know. Yeah, like uh, there's uh, about seven to eight hours. Yeah. Usually you don't need that much because like I sleep like just on and off throughout the day. Just a, depends. It's a weird schedule, especially for Ramadan. It's a different schedule than normal. But it's like you have more of a semblance of a schedule because, you know, <laughs> like you just follow one naturally. Bye, creepy. Mm-hmm. Thanks for being here. Then go back to sleep. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people do that. I think you guys schedule, only do really that. Weird, it's like, I don't know. On and off sleep, basically. Like, on and on resting, like, just throughout the day. But I usually, like, wake up. Like, I'll go down for some sleep. Like, usually um, after the last prayer of the night, after Isha. And then, like, wake up maybe 1.32 kind of thing, you know? And then stay up till after Fajr and then like go back down for a few hours. And then, yeah, it's, it's weird. I don't know yet, Malika. We're just going to have something simple. I don't know. Maybe just cook up some eggs or something. Maybe some bread and uh, labna, something like that. Some juice. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, nice. El- Eleventi. Good luck. Mashallah. Just remember marriage, you know, it's not always, it has ups and downs, so just keep that in mind. For now, Cynthia, yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, oatmeal is easy. Um, thanks, not just another Vegas doll. I didn't see you there. Thanks, guys. Thanks for beezing. Thanks for being here. It means a lot. And uh, thanks a lot. And inshallah, see you on the next time, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. And oh, we'll see you, uh, tomorrow. So happy to see you all. Yes. Good night, guys. <laughs> wow. So that's what happened. They told Bali she could go into your mama's chat in the chat, but if she erased it within X seconds, he'd never see it. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Masalama. Masalama. And that is it. That is it for Foodie Beauty stuff. People, that was not... I'm not impressed with these Foodie Beauty streams, but at least we have a thrilling conversations together. Uh, just a minute shy of two hours. We're going to go exactly at two hours. How about that? So Cypher says, also the TikTok bill will blanket any apps in Iran, Russia, China. So basically any apps they deem a risk to national security from those nations, they could, they can also be banned. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. And like you said, Cypher, the whole CCP thing, you never know uh, what uh, the CCP is doing with the uh, data. Uh, yeah, it's, they, it doesn't work the same as in North America. So a lot of people are very weary. And that's why government officials um, cannot have TikTok because it, it does mine. It does mine your data. If you don't know, that that is truth. But we shall see. Um, for TikTok, I mean, I, I make videos on TikTok. It's a monetary thing. Uh, plus, you know, I have a lot of interest. So I started it. It's going pretty good for me. So if you want to check out my TikTok stuff, I'll post the link. People, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great night on this uh, hump day. 
and I'll see you guys back real, real soon. So PG is getting troll, but I don't even know if she realizes it from her vid yesterday. Really? Okay. Um, I don't even know what to say to that. I think uh, I don't know. I guess I'll look at it and see what's up. Um, but thank you so much, people. Smash the like button as usual, and I'll see you guys around. I will be giving away earrings uh, real soon. Uh, just check my community tab in the next, uh, coming days and we'll figure something out other than that. Um, yeah, somebody is definitely in person in a lawyer because I'm getting daily emails from purple glitter saying that I'm messing with their lawyer and I did this to a lawyer, but seriously, can a lawyer be messed with like that? Like if you were a lawyer, you, you have a, a doctorate in law, right? Are you going to have people emailing you or messing you? What What are they doing? Calling up the, the lawyer's office and going with their, their deep voice, or their voice changer, or hanging up when whenever they answer? Think about that for a second. All right. Uh, let me uh, post the link to my other channel. And you guys can check me out over there. Uh, other than that. I am out of here. Have a great one, everybody. Uh, thank you, It Ain't That, for catching the replay. I really do appreciate it. And, yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Have a great one. And good night.